Let's distinguish between center of mass and center of gravity. Center of mass is the mass weighted average position of a system of objects. In this example, we have three equal masses forming an equilateral triangle and the center of mass is the geometric center of the triangle. If any of the masses is greater, the center of mass will be closer to it. Center of gravity is the force of gravity weighted average position of a system of objects. Because force of gravity, also referred to as weight, depends on mass, if the objects are in a uniform gravitational field, then the center of mass will coincide with the center of gravity. This is a good approximation for objects near the surface of the Earth. However, for large distances, the value of gravity, g, will vary. When this happens, the center of gravity will not only depend on mass, but the value of g as well. In this example, we have two equal masses and the center of mass is at the midpoint between them. However, because the value of g is greater for mass 2, the center of gravity is closer to it. This difference of gravitational pull across a system of bodies away from the center of mass is also known as the tidal force. Another important implication for the center of gravity in a non-uniform field is that it can produce a torque on an extended system. Notice that in the very formula for center of gravity, the top line is in fact a calculation of torque. This is an alternate definition for center of gravity. It is the point in a system through which no torque is produced.